What's up? How are you guys this weekend? Hey, who's still vegan in 2023? What's the deal? Doesn't it feel like the vegan nonsense has somewhat fizzed out online? You know, it's not as crazy, but I don't know. That's not reality because I'm sure like in the mainstream news and grocery stores and all that stuff, the plant-based agenda is still being pushed full force. Uh, so we're going to take a look today at some of the vegan shorts and see what nonsense is about. First, we have what we eat in a day of van life. Hashtag van life, hashtag vegan, hashtag tiny home. Ooh, this is this is very New World Order-esque, isn't it? We're just missing some cockroaches. This is what a full day of eating looks like while living in our van. We started off the morning with a cup of coffee because today we're doing a big hike and want to get to the trail early. On a typical morning when we aren't rushing out to do something, we'll usually... Bro, imagine how that smells in there. That small, two people, they got a cat, and they're vegan. Honestly, it should be illegal to not have some sort of like fumigator in there or some like CO2 detector or methane gas detector, whatever fumes their vegan bodies are giving off. I'm sure you can test them in that tiny space. <laughs> have something simple like avocado toast and potatoes this rarely happens but our camping spot was only about a mile from the trailhead so we left hey that was really short she didn't show us an hour and a half it took to make the avocado toast and potatoes in that tiny kitchen beautiful scenery though the van and the ladies where they were so we wouldn't have to worry about parking the hike was breathtaking and we each packed a kind bar to refuel for the way down unfortunately the ladies missed our text that we were on the way back and didn't have lunch prepared for us but luckily we were able to snack on some carrots and vegan rain bro honestly she has a boyfriend how much of a simp desperate man do you have to be to allow yourself to move in to a tiny van with two cats and this crazy girl with short boyish hair. Like, honestly, look, like, honestly, like, the coochie must be crazy. Like, honestly. Vacuum grip. Ranch until our flatbreads were ready. After lunch, the ladies rested right, in the... She, she, I mean, she made some type of flatbread, so... Uh, the lunch looked really similar to breakfast. Basically, avocado on bread with some veggies here and there. Very little protein. Cab and I unpacked our hiking backpacks. We were both so tired at this point that we decided to make the bed early so we wouldn't have to do it later and do a quick cold plunge to hold us over until bedtime. Oh, of course. They have to They have to clean off. If they didn't do a cold plunge every... No, all right, maybe that's preventing some of the smells and some of the issues in the van. I went up to the roof to get out of the way while Seth prepared these stuffed baked sweet potatoes for dinner. After Bro, it's perfect. They got a hole on the roof. They just need like a hood vent to just blow the fumes out 24-7. After we ate, it was time for me to do the dish. Well, that's so weird. Literally avocado on everything. All all three of those meals look the same. Avocado on toast, avocado on flatbread, and avocado on baked sweet potato. Dishes and clean up. We've really been loving having an oven, so tonight we baked these vegan chocolate chip cookies for dessert, which were such a treat. All right, so, you know, she's not giving us that many ingredients, so it's kind of hard to analyze this, but the nice thing compared to most vegan diets is that she's having a lot of grains, a lot of calorically dense, healthy grains, so just missing some animal protein in the diet. That's really it, because the fruits, the vegetables, the seasonings, the toppings, all that stuff, you're not really adding any nutrition, Availability is very low, especially the minerals. You're not really absorbing them. And the avocado at least is some fat, but oxalates, salicylates. I mean, there's a laundry list of uh, the negative anti-nutrients in avocado. They're not that easy on digestion, uh, which is probably why they're having so many grains in every meal because they're at least giving their body something. Bro, I, I honestly, I, I'd probably, I, I don't think I'd last a day. I don't think I'd last it. You'd have to pay me so much money. It, it would be like a game show. It, it's literally a game show. Like, you got to live with this crazy young girl that has two cats in a van that's vegan. Like, is this not, like, it's it's insanity. It's the epitome of what's wrong with some young ladies. It's it's crazy. It's crazy. I got I to I, I look more into this. This is, we've been doing van life for four years in our converted van with our two cats. Did she snip his balls off like she snipped her cat's balls off? Oh, my God. 
I bet you she got this poor guy to build everything too. All right, I'll stop. That's enough trash talking. I'm sorry. <laughs> but it's just ridiculous. Ridiculous. Look, if it was just van life and you had like beef jerky in there like a normal person and you didn't have two cats in there, if you had beef jerky and a dog, you'd be a normal person. <laughs> All right. Next up, we have vegan McDonald's. Mr. Charlie's, I got a frowny face meal. Does this not look exactly like McDonald's? It also tastes like it too. I'm not no vegan, but this food was pretty good. I thought this was a sick little place. I've been wanting to go here for a long time, so I'm glad I tried it out. My day was good today. That's a really short clip, but I just thought it was very ironic that you have a vegan restaurant named McCharlie's and it's a huge frowny face because that's exactly how everyone should feel about veganism. It's not good for you. It's not good for the environment and the food will always make you frown. Perfect, perfect, perfect. There's so much of that subliminal messaging with the, the vegan stuff like Morning Star Farms, stuff like that, like Lucifer Farm. Like it's, it's ridiculous. Someone with two brain cells would not go into this place. It's literally a dead smiley face. That's what happens to you when you go on a vegan diet. You get X's on your eyes, you're dead and you're sad. That's your insides and your outsides, bro. So then we have Piers Morgan, who's a bit of an entertainer, and he is pretty well known to trash on vegans. Hey, yes. we're in the sixth mass extinction. We're living it now. From what the world, extinction? Don't look up. What we're extinction? in the sixth mass extinction. The don't world is not going to end because I eat a mother yogurt. Look, animals what? Animals are factory farmed. You're trying to deflect look, from the fact we're still here. that veganism protects the environment. Juliet, we're still here. We are, but how Nobody's much longer have we got? You've got kids. You must care about the climate crisis. I let my kids eat meat. I let them eat yogurt. And you know what? I don't think it's evil. You must care about the climate crisis and you must... It's so funny watching these literal lunatic psycho vegans talk about the climate crisis when there's literal airplanes spraying poison in the air every day. It's absolutely comical. It's comical. It's like people just double down on the copium and absorb whatever they can to, to live with their sad lives. Must be aware that the University of Oxford has specifically stated that a vegan diet it protects the really? environment. You just it said reduces you, you just said you read your, you said you really got your University of Oxford. I bet you they want you to drink tap water too, huh? You're eating it, almonds or avocados from Spain. Which one? From Spain. Which one? Both. I don't eat almonds. Actually. How do they get here? Avocados. How do they get here? Both. Both. Really? You sure? Yes, I am sure. You sure? I am absolutely sure. Really? And how do you think most vegans get most of their almonds and avocados from California? And how do you boat? think most no, they don't. meat eaters get their No, they don't. Yeah, they don't get them from a boat. <laughs> they get Yeah, the actual sustainability and legitimacy of a vegan diet from any perspective is just incorrect. Uh, you just have these really big evil corporations that have almost perfectly designed these arguments and these ideologies on convincing people to follow a diet that's bad for them so they're physically weak and unhealthy and easier to control. The motive of veganism, vegan diet, vegetarian diets in general, is to weaken the population and the way they've convinced people to do it is by saying it's good for you. You know, what's what's the saying? It's uh, easier to fool someone than convince them they've been fooled. Then we have a guy, <laughs> allegedly raw vegan for 20 years. It looks like he has uh, <laughs> someone in the room with him pointing a gun at him. <laughs> it looks like he's about to cry, but we'll see. I first went raw vegan when I was 30, and I'm 50 now, so that's 20 years. I have. Okay, so the only thing that I really have to say without even watching this is these people are such liars. And you guys need to understand that most online influencers, unless there's a literal track record of them online doing what they're saying, they're liars. You, know, you can go back years and years on my YouTube channel and have all the evidence that you know I was carnivore for eight years and all that stuff. But when people pop out of the woodwork and say, oh, I've been carnivore for 50 years, <laughs> it's good for you. Like it's the most comical, diabolical nonsense, dude. I mean, if this guy said he took a time machine from the 80s, I'd believe him more than... Uh, <laughs> than him being vegan for 20 years, especially with the haircut. I have been learning about a raw food diet. Eating less animal products is so incredible and important. It makes you feel amazing. You can turn back the clock. You can look better. You will feel better. It'll give you that youthful edge that everybody wants. I first went raw vegan when I was 30, and I'm 50 now, so that's 20 years. I have been learning about a raw food diet. Eating less animal products is so is incredible and important. Itself? makes you feel amazing. You can turn back the clock. You can look better. You will feel better. It'll give you that youthful edge that everybody wants. 
I first went raw V. Oh, it's just him saying that for 15, 20 seconds. <laughs> People are clowning on him. Is this a channel or is this showing clips? Raw vegan rising. Heal, detoxify, and regenerate with a raw vegan diet and lifestyle. Who's been around for five years? Don't worry, gentlemen. I didn't forget about you guys today, but uh, <laughs> uh, we have to do something ridiculous. Girl looks like that and says she's on a cut. Like, first thing you think immediately is eating disorder. French toast bites. White chocolate protein sped, spread, banana, and powdered sugar. Crispy summer rolls with chickpeas, peppers, carrots. Hey, look. She's chefing it up, you know. Way more effort than most of these vegans put in. Protein pizza mini bowls with vegan minced meat and <laughs> Bro. These meat substitute vegans drive me crazy. <laughs> Strawberry smoothie bowl with chocolate granola. Okay. So I mean my brain's working okay today. I'll see if I can remember what the video was about. Like putting vegan protein powder in grains and starches does not make it healthy but she seems to actually be avoiding grains and opting for substitutes and also doing like fruit and stuff uh very vegetable heavy so i'm i'm concerned about the caloric density of the diet so that breakfast was really just kind of empty carbs and starch and probably some chemicals the crispy spring rolls are really just vegetables i doubt the caloric content of that is high at all maybe she put some type of dipping sauce that vegans usually use tahini and like high omega-6 inflammatory seed oils to make uh, then she had some type of meat substitute, pseudo protein bowl, probably with fake cheese, fake meat, loaded with like so many chemicals and oxidized omega-6 fats. Pro that's probably the least healthy thing she had today. And then she had that fruit smoothie bowl for dessert, which is probably the least inflammatory thing because if it's just blended frozen fruit, how much negative stuff can actually be in it. But this is pretty typical of like eating disorder vegans that are counting calories and really worried about their appearance. They avoid grains, they avoid starch. The only calorically dense food that's even possible to eat when you're vegan. And these people usually have a very hard time staying on the diet and start deviating very quickly. But her tushy does not look bad. Her legs look pretty good. Might convince me after, uh, uh, after a few drinks if I haven't jerked off in like seven days, but that's why my right arm hurts because that's not the case. All right, we have repented. Our last video with why I am a vegan Christian. Honestly, I'd rather be waterboarded for 31 minutes than have to watch this. I will never watch it. Well, but the point is now we have a nice family-friendly background to wrap this up with. So I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this short little funny video on the weekend. Maybe you guys learned a few things. If you have any videos you'd like me to review, definitely leave them down in the comments below or send them to me. Uh, you guys can check out frank stefanocom if you'd like to support a genuine small business that is uh, trying his best against the corporate chill overlords, go figure. It's definitely a battle every day. Quality meats on Frankie's Syringe Meat, quality organic foods on Frankie's Syringe Foods, safe natural supplements on OregonSupplements.com. We got the Wi-Fi protective clothing. Only time I am like not wearing it is when I film these because with the green screen, I need to have a white shirt on to, to white balance it. Um, and then we have Frankie's Naturals. Yeah, I just took a shower, guys. I'm using so many new products. I smell better. I look better. I feel better. A lot easier to apply those. So definitely check out frank and all the interesting products we have. A lot of unique ideas. But I'll stop yapping. Thanks again for joining, guys. And I'll see you for the live stream later at 3.30. If I don't fall asleep, 3.30 p.m. Eastern time. We're doing a live stream today, guys. So if you'd like to join us, 3.30 p.m. Eastern time. Thank you.